A mother driving with two children in the back seat loses control of the vehicle, slamming right into the front of this home. She made the central mayday, 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 men down, men down. But well, we begin with Detroit firefighters rushing to save a 20 year veteran of the department trapped as a burning vacant home collapses. The latest from the department is that firefighter is in the hospital tonight, but is expected to be released in the morning. But we're also learning that fire may have been intentionally set by a very busy arsonist in the area, which has the feds now involved. Mara McDonald live on Detroit's east side. Uh, five fires, Mara, in the past three days. That's right, Devin, and I want to show you something. This is engine 44 and ladder 18. Take a walk with me because this boggles my mind. This is the firehouse. So you see, you know, standard Detroit firehouse. You get to the edge here where it ends, and do you see what's illuminated right over there? That's one of the homes that's been burned over here. All of which means whoever is setting these fires is doing it within spitting distance of a Detroit firehouse. That every single firefighter made it out of the rubble of that burning house will go down as one of the luckiest days in department history. We have two trapped firefighters. One firefighter is out. We have one still in a hole. We're working. DFD working a vacant house fire when the structure collapsed on the team. Most were able to clear the debris, but one was trapped. Uh, we want the citizens of the city of Detroit just to pray for our firefighters. Two hours of painstaking work, moving more than two feet of debris, and he was out. Tonight, that 20-year vet of the department is alive and expected to make a full recovery, but this was a near miss, and it's no isolated incident. How many fires have there been in the last week around here? I say a good five. He's right. Department sources show three fires on Hollywood, close to the home that burned today, one on Brentwood, which is one street over, and one further down on Seven Mile. ATF was going door to door for hours asking neighbors for any help they can give with what is an investigation into a presumed serial arsonist. All the properties were abandoned. And there's no squatters, because that house that just burned up and the firemen got caught in was not a squatter now. Back here live in totality, eight Detroit firefighters had to be taken to the hospital to get checked out. As of tonight, only one, that lieutenant who was trapped in that debris for more than two hours, is still at receiving, although sources within the department tell us that he is in great spirits and he's in better shape. We're live on Detroit's east side tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Good thing, because that had to be an insanely long two hours for him, that's for sure. All right, Mara.